Zakia. All right, so you're doing a good long reach, however you're crossing in somewhat. Uh, so that's going to be something to make sure you get it on. Uh, the body position is good. Your hips and legs are high in the water, and your breathing is comfortable. Your head position is good. You're not lifting your head to turn to breathe. So above water, your main thing to work on is how far your hands reach out, because sometimes they're actually extending all the way out before they enter the water. So you want to enter a little closer to your head, and then you want that hand to go directly in front of the shoulder. Uh, something that will help you is to look up to make sure where that hand is. Generally, you want to look down, but for um, drilling you. Alright, so good rotation. This is where you can see you're crossing in a fair bit. So the hand goes, you know, over the top of your head. It's causing some um, wobble through your hips and legs. So your hips and legs come out of alignment. And so just, just fixing that is going to be a big improvement to your stroke. Hands are, uh, you want each hand to extend in front of the shoulder, the corresponding shoulder, not in front of the head. Uh, what was happening is you're entering and then your hand is swiveling off to the side and then starting to pull back so a little bit of inefficiency and a time delay in the start of the stroke. Your pull style is pretty much a straight arm style. Uh, getting a little bit of the vertical forearm on the left. Um, so that's not bad. Uh, so you want to keep working towards that early vertical forearm, high elbow catch. Um, maybe not quite as wide as you're pulling sometimes. It seems like you're, you might be a little wide on the right, meaning outward. <clears throat> you want your hands and arms to be somewhat directly abo below you. Um, you don't want them crossing under your torso though, so it's a fine line. Um, the thought is, like, imagine there's a uh, column 12 inch column centered on each shoulder and your hands should pretty much go through that column each stroke uh, from the start to the finish. So here you get a view of that. Uh, yeah, just a, a little wide, right? You see what I'm talking about? Uh, not, not bad, just a, especially at the beginning. So uh, you're swiveling out a little too far as compensation for going in at the beginning, I imagine. So here's where you get a, a view of what's really going on. So, uh, like I was saying in the beginning, uh, your hands can enter the water a little sooner. You don't have to extend all the way out on top of the water. Hand enters and then extends under the water. Uh, that forces you to carry the weight of the hand a little more than you need to. Puts more stress on the shoulder. So you have uh, Upper arm and forearm are pretty much one straight line. A little bit of hook or a vertical forearm, and then your elbow leads slightly back. You're mostly a straight arm style of pull. Uh, so what you want to see is that hand and forearm straight up and down early in the stroke. I know I say that a lot, uh, but that's really the key for the catch mechanics. It, it's really you have to rotate that shoulder, right, or, or shrug that shoulder internally. You have a very long extension, that is great. Uh, you just want that extension point to be directly in front of the shoulder, not in front of the head. And then starting your catch here on your left, uh, same thing, getting a little, little, a little bit of the um, hook to the forearm and hand there. Um, and then pushing through in a straight arm style. So that's the second best way to swim. Uh, if you 
every step you take towards a vertical forearm is going to help. The vertical forearm doesn't mean the elbow is high relative to the surface of the water. It's the hand is below the elbow. That's the thought.